To set up this next test, I'm going to use General Hydroponics Flora Series Raw Microbes versus Roots Exhilarator. The seeds I'm going to be planting is going to be winter field peas, buckwheat, and daikon radishes. And to start this test out, we're going to make sure we measure the pH and the ppm to make sure that uh, you guys get a starting point as well. I'll be putting all the plants in uh, your standard 3-inch net cups, lining them with cheesecloths just to make sure that the perlite doesn't get into my uh, test pails and the pumps, and that's going to get filled up with uh, perlite. I'll be using reverse osmosis water to keep out as many variables as I can. Each solution is going to get 10 milliliters of each, the flora micro, the grow, and the bloom. Looks like 0.3 milliliters per liter. Uh, so I'm just going to call it, let's go with 3ml for the 3 gallons of water. Well, it looks like the clear winner for the first one here is going to be the uh, field peas on the right hand side. Although the left side did finally germinate, it never really amounted to anything. For the next one, the buckwheat, the left side is definitely uh, the only one growing actually is on the left side and there's only one plant. And although it doesn't look very good, there's a lot of nutrient deficiency or something going on with the leaves. It did actually produce a plant, whereas the right side, as you can see, nothing at all came up and there's lots of seeds in there. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. A uh, clear winner for this one is going to be left side. Now, although these two are pretty close, it's uh, I'm kind of thinking that the one on the right hand side has a little bit bigger of a root. As far as the growth wise goes, both growths look really healthy on the greens. So what I'll do is I'll separate the roots and we'll take a look and uh, see what the actual edible portion looks like. With the exception of one plant, the right side here is a clear winner. And even that taken into account, it probably still has more total root mass than the left side. So the pH of the Roots Exhilarator was way lower. Uh, it went right to the peak end of the scale, which is right around a pH of 4. So that's pretty far down. The pH of the raw microbes was much better, but still a little bit low as well. Both of the PPMs were pretty close. They were around uh, 360 to 390 range, so that was pretty consistent on both sides. Now this test would have gone a little bit longer, but as you've seen there, I uh, developed a little bit of a flood with my test pails, and that was because of one of the leaves got just right in the right spot, right above a dripper, so it was pouring off the water into the catch basin here. So good thing I've got that, otherwise I would have uh, all kinds of a mess in the rug to clean up. The next comparison that's going to be up in my grow pails is going to be AB Conister versus General Hydroponics Nutrients. So nothing fancy as far as microbes go on this one, but we're going to see which nutrient solution is the best. I'm told AB Conister versus anything is what I read in the comments, so let's try it out and see how we do for uh, testing. <laughs> 